In addition to N-channel transistors, there is a complementary type of transistor known as a P-channel or a PMOS field effect transistor. They are an opposite image of the NMOS. P-channel MOSFETs exist on a lightly doped N-type substrate. The source and the drain now consist of heavily doped P-type regions. Generally speaking, the polarity of the voltages and currents in the PMOS are opposite to those in the NMOS. For example, in an NMOS transistor, a positive voltage VGS is applied to the gate to induce a channel. In PMOS transistors, a negative voltage is applied to the gate, repelling electrons away from the area under the gate, creating a depletion region free of electrons. This negative gate voltage then also attracts holes from the heavily doped source and drain areas to create an inversion layer or channel of holes. The value of the gate voltage required to form this channel is once again referred to as the threshold voltage. Only now it is a negative value. We'll refer to it as V sub TP. Once again, holding the source at ground, a negative voltage holding the source at ground, a negative voltage applied to the drain causes a hole current to flow in the direction of voltage drop from the source to the drain. Otherwise, the operation of the PMOS transistor is similar to that of an NMOS transistor. The concepts of cutoff, triode, and saturation regions are analogous to those in the NMOS transistors. But to avoid confusion and a lot of negative signs, the voltage differences between the gate and source and between the drain and the source will have their positive reference at the source. Thus, when we were talking about NMOS transistors, we refer to VGS as the voltage from the gate to the source. We define VSG in PMOS transistors. Thus, VSG refers to the voltage from the source to the gate or the gate relative to the source. Under these circumstances, VSG will be a positive value. Similarly, instead of referring to VDS, the voltage from the drain to the source, we will refer to VSD as the voltage from the source to the drain. The source must be at a higher voltage than the drain and must be at a higher voltage than the gate for current to flow. And VSG and VSD will thus be positive voltages. The conventional current I sub D will now flow from the source to the drain. This is, of course, still flowing from the higher voltage to the lower voltage. With these changes then, the formula is describing the relationship between voltage and current in each of these three states cutoff, triode, and saturation take basically the same form and are used as with the in-channel in transistors. Once again, you have a cutoff region when the gate voltage is not, has uh, not reached a level of overcoming the threshold voltage and no current flows. For the situation where VSG, which is equal to the threshold voltage plus the overdrive voltage, um, when VSG is great enough to establish that channel, then we're either in the triode region or the saturation region. The triode region exists when the drain, we, we haven't really talked about the drain to gate voltage, but when the drain to gate voltage is greater than the threshold voltage or equivalently, when the source to drain voltage is less than the overdrive voltage, then the equations defining the current take this form. Notice that the K constant K sub P prime in the P MOS corresponds to the K sub N prime value in the N MOS. Similarly, as we described, because of the changes in polarity, we have the overdrive voltage being then VSG minus the magnitude of the threshold voltage. Again, because in the P MOS transistor, the threshold voltage is a negative value. Now, when the source to drain voltage, VSD, exceeds the overdrive voltage, we are then in the, or the transistor is then in the saturation region. And these equations then describe the current voltage relationship.